Cigarandpipes.com, your premium online retailer with a generous variety of premium cigars, pipes, and accessories, and free shipping on orders over $75. Be sure to visit Cigarandpipes.com. Hey everybody, I'm Delicia, and thanks for tuning in once again to the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm very excited to be smoking this Muestra de Saca. This is the Nacatamal, and... Before I get into it, I wanted to mention that I did order this from CigarAndPipes.com and I wanted to bring that up because I do get a lot of questions from a lot of my viewers that are looking to smoke the cigar that I'm reviewing and a lot of times they can't find it or they're not nearby a lounge and whatnot. So again, I wanted to draw attention to the fact that that's a reliable online retailer that I use myself and I found them to be you know, very efficient. I love the way that I receive the cigars because they're packaged nicely and they always have a Boveda pack in there, which is great because now the humidification factor is taken care of. And again, I get them fast because there's nothing like ordering your cigars and then having to wait a week or two to get them, which is terrible. So this one, every time I, I do order, I receive them in a couple days, which is great. So definitely wanted to um, make that quick little announcement for those of you watching and of course I will include a special promo code at the end of the video for those of you who would like to try this cigar. Um, stay tuned for that. But getting into the actual Muestra de Saca, it's a cool cigar in the sense, well a lot of different reasons, but um, first of all it's actually the second addition to the Muestra de Saca line and Maybe I should go into a little bit about what the name means because, of course, Steve Saka always picks these really cool names, you know, for all his different cigar lines, which I find fascinating. He takes the time to do this really cool artwork with everything and really has a lot of meaning behind why he gives things the names that he does, this one being no different. So the Muestra de Saka, really, the word Muestra, it means, the literal translation is like a sample in Spanish, like a sample of something, but really it takes on... A deeper meaning especially in the cigar world and and even in Spanish where it's more of like um, something that you're sharing with somebody um, an example would be like if for me personally like if I was cooking something very special and I invited a, a handful of people to try it it's like my pride it's something that you know something that I made that I created that I, I want to share and that's kind of um, somewhat of, a, of an example I guess you could say but they're, they're usually cigars that are very coveted. They're very, um, you know, they're, they're just, people want them, but they don't necessarily share them with everybody type of a thing is the impression that um, I get from what he was trying to do. Now, this one being the second, it's the Nakatamal that's referring to the size. That's what he named it. So this one is a six by 48 parejo, meaning it's, you know, this nice little round, pretty shape. It does have a little bit of a, um, not a, pigtail but it just like this little fun little cap that you could literally just pinch it right off and start smoking if you wanted to and then it has the um, the nice little yellow footband that comes right off so very simple and it also is available in these nice little um, individual coffins which is cool it is an extremely limited production cigar and I believe they were limited to about 2,000 and something, 2,020, 2,250 boxes, something along those lines perhaps. And they're seven count boxes. So definitely something that you want to get your hands on because again, the limited production runs are, are harder to find the longer you wait. But this one is special in the blending as well. It is featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper the filler and binder are unique in the sense that they're coming from the same farms. So the tobacco is grown on the same farm, binder and filler, and it's an undisclosed farm. It's a secret farm in Jalapa that Steve, um, you know, was playing with the tobacco and he's, he created this blend. So why is that different or special? Well, nowadays, you know, the tobacco is available I mean, there's a plethora of it out there. So manufacturers literally um, have, you know, their choice of all kinds of different tobacco. So using tobacco from just one farm, it's a challenge because it used to be like that. They, I guess they used to do that in the old days. I, you know, didn't smoke the cigars way back then. So I couldn't um, tell you exactly 
what those tasted like versus nowadays, but I can imagine, I mean, it's kind of similar again to cooking. I always use that reference. If you're only allowed to, to cook with one spice, I mean, you have to kind of get creative. Um, if you're cooking with garlic only, you have to figure out ways of like, okay, I'm going to roast it or I'm going to slice it real thin and saute it. I mean, you have to get kind of creative. So it's the same thing when you're doing that with tobacco from only one farm, you have to get created with creative on how you can create complexity to that smoke and so really the positioning of the leaf um, plays a, a huge role and every part of, of that system really uh, goes into I mean there's a lot of thought a lot of dedication and I imagine a lot of patience to see how your your experiment I guess you could say uh, really comes out but when you have the knowledge that someone like Steve Saka has it's really I guess not so much of an experiment because he's He's very knowledgeable, so he knows what he's doing. All that being said, let's go ahead and get into the cigar. So there's a spice to the foot, as well as that pre-lit draw. A nice spice, there's a hint of cedar. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get it all lit up. So right away you pick up a very nice uh, combination of flavors. You get a little bit of um, a toasted sugar type of feel to it. Um, also there's a nice amount of spice to it, more along the lines of a, of a cinnamon type of a spice. There's also a trace of uh, an espresso bean type of uh, flavor to it and a little bit of a cocoa. Not a sweet um, chocolate, more of like just that rich type of flavor that you would get from, uh, from that cocoa powder, something along those lines. But again, you pick up that little trace of espresso bean in there too. So uh, really nice start nice amount of aroma coming off a good amount of smoke output as well very pleasant mm, yeah very inviting aroma love it so i'm going to go ahead and smoke it down as always a little bit more check back in with you guys for the second third so back again for the about the second third or so on the Muestra de Saca Nakatamal. A couple things I forgot to mention. Um, I got a little sidetracked in the introduction part of this cigar. Uh, one, this cigar is made at the Hoya de Nicaragua factory, of course, the oldest factory in Nica. And also the, the name of the size, so the Nakatamal, I didn't really get into that, um, kind of just went right over it. But it's refer a nakatamal is basically like a very traditional um, dish, I guess you could say, really well known in Nicaragua, also in Honduras, and I believe in Costa Rica, but really in, in Nica. Um, very similar to like the tamales that are uh, known to Mexico, except for they're they're a little bit bigger and they're they're made with um, in a similar fashion, but they're made in like banana leaves, which. Some of the tamales are made in banana leaves as well, but more, more, more common, they're made in uh, corn uh, leaves or husks. So these ones are, the naka tamales are made in like the banana leaves, um, but a very tasty, um, very time consuming thing to make and very tasty to eat it. Most of the time it's 
um, I believe they're like a breakfast type of uh, food, I guess you could say. But that's the name. That's where that part of the name comes from. Back to the flavors. Um, right now, I'm getting predominantly cinnamon and cedar notes. Um, really coming through quite strong on the cedar. There's a little bit of a of a mint in the in a background, like you. It just provides like a freshness, kind of um, a coolness to the smoke, if you will. Um, just in the background, not not real strong, but you can pick it up. But really, the cinnamon and the cedar are the are the forerunners at this point in the cigar. It's smoking just beautifully. It's producing a lot of smoke, um, very aromatic. Uh, again, very welcoming. So so far so good. Really enjoying it. And again, just easy to smoke. Haven't had any issues, of course, on the the um the draw or you know the construction is spot on in fact the burn line is just like perfect so in that regard it's absolutely wonderful gonna continue to smoke it down and of course check back in with you guys one last time for the final third so another hit uh for steve saka really enjoyed this smoke this again has been the nakatamal de muestra de saka uh, great flavors. This final third has introduced some a mixture of pepper notes, um, black pepper, red pepper, kind of both mixed in in different times, as well as a little bit of a coffee that was, again, in the very beginning, there was that espresso type of um, a flavor to it. And now again, in this final third, you get a little bit of a coffee, not quite as strong. Um, also a hint of a, a kind of a toffee-like not super sweet, but just a little hint of it, just enough to give it something interesting. Um, but again, impressive that he managed to to nail down the complexity, again, using the tobacco on the binder and filler from the same farm. It was just, you know, another hit. <laughs> so highly recommend that you give this one a try. As always, I love to hear your feedback. And again, don't forget to take advantage of the promo code if you do choose to smoke this um, this cigar and take advantage of that one. You'll see the information below me here for cigarandpipes.com. And I'd love to hear your feedback. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you're planning on smoking it, uh, what your thoughts were. And as always, I thank you so much for hanging out. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Cheers.